Yo, what is up, YouTube? Uh, we are back at it with another video, man. I mean, we got to talk about yesterday. Yesterday was a pain in the ass. I mean, uh, it just... Those, those NFL plays were looking fantastic, to be honest. I mean, I thought I was going to pretty much go about 70, maybe 100% on my plays. Because the game was looking like it was turning towards our favor. Unfortunately, because of Mar the Mark Andrews injury, right? So the Mark Andrews injury and the Joe Burrow injury obviously screwed us. I mean, Mark Andrews in the first drive had 23 yards. He had maybe three catches. Man, 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 23 yards, three catches. So you know he was probably going to go for about 100 yards uh, yesterday if he didn't get injured. I mean, the Bengals since week seven, since their week seven bye have been allowing more than about more than 80 yards to the tight ends. Even to Dalton Schultz, they allowed a little over 80 yards. George Kittle got over 100. But... That's and that's the kind of game I expected from Mark Andrews. That's why I had him in so many plays. Obviously, you know, I can't predict the future. If I can, I, I'd be filthy rich. Um, yeah, man. I mean, that just screwed us because Mark Andrews would have had a huge game. This would have hit, and because of that huge game, this would have hit as well, right? So pretty much, the those two injuries completely. Screwed blew up our plays because it one Mark Andrews being out obviously made the passing game from Lamar Jackson a lot harder. So he did he wasn't able to get this 18 and a half. But he wasn't also he didn't get that 18 and a half as well because so he had if y'all were watching the game, he had 12 pass completions by the end of the first half. That was that's insane, right? So we were way more than halfway there. Uh we just needed literally what uh, seven more passes for him to get that over, but he literally completed like four passes in the first half, in the second half because all they did was run, 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 run the ball. Joe Burrow was hurt after giving after that good drive with Tyler Boyd. Look at that, he got Tyler Boyd three receptions in like I think their second or third drive. That was looking amazing. And then it was that drive where he finally got hurt. And I was worried. I mean, I even texted my 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 friends. I mean, I didn't know he had a hand injury. I don't think anybody knew. The Bengals didn't disclose it. Uh, that's on them. They're probably going to get fined, to be honest, for not disclosing that injury. Obviously, it was a... It was an injury that probably happened during practice or the last game, uh, but they just didn't tell anybody about it. And uh, shame on the Bengals organization because, I mean, you – yeah, I'm sure Joe Burrow was, you know, being an ignorant – being, um, you know, stubborn and a pain in the ass that he wanted to play no matter what. You know, it's that player's mentality, respect, but sometimes the organizations have to save the players from themselves. Man, I get it. You know, you're out of the playoff contention as of now. You're bottom in your division. You're going against the top top dog in your division, the Ravens, and you really want to take them down. But for the long run, I mean, you got to save the players from themselves, man. Stop being, you know, ridiculous. This is more than just one game. Like, you have a – you have your – the quarter, your quarterback that can potentially be your QB for the next 10 years and you put him out there to, you know, potentially risk a major injury. I'm hoping, I mean, ex, depending on any imaging and things like that, I'm hoping uh, Joe Burrow's better than, you know, we most of us think. Uh, hopefully it's not like Mark Andrews, who unfortunately had a season-ending injury. The reports haven't been out, or at least I haven't seen them yet, but it looks like a pretty severe high ankle sprain from the looks of it. I mean, his... Ankle literally got turned and then dragged with, you know, that 250-plus dude on him, right? So that's definitely going to create some bad, bad uh, sprains there. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that, that pretty much killed our player. Six-man NBA play didn't hit, right? Um, but we did hit our uh, three-man NBA play. So we went Chet, Jalen Williams, Andrew Wiggins all to go over. Uh, and that hit pretty pretty nicely, right? I mean, 
Uh, he got Jalen Williams got five assists. Nobody expected that except for this guy. Um, and then Andrew Wiggins, he started off slow, but he ended up coming back, coming through with us. That Wiggins, 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 uh, you know, saying his name three times actually worked out. I wasn't really doing that. It was just, uh, it was just my, my brain just rewiring at the moment. But it ended up working out. Uh, man, unfortunately, I, I really do believe if uh, Joe Burrow and Mark Andrews were in the game, we would have had a huge day. This would have probably hit because, you know, Joe Burrow has been – Loving going to his tight ends. Uh, man, I mean, this would have definitely hit because as soon as Joe Bro and I knew, I knew for a fact Jamar Chase was not going to hit this, unfortunately. And then, yeah, obviously this would have hit. This was like, this was super, super closely hitting. But whatever, it wasn't the case. So let's move on to the plays that I have for y'all today. So the first one, we got Scotty Barnes, less than 13 half rebounds and assists. Hunter, over 13 half points and assists. And then Laurie, man, over, I mean, less than three and a half three pointers made. Uh, this is, this has been a hit or miss for a lot of folks. I mean, I've taken him over and I've hit, but I, I do believe that he's going to hit the under in that, re, in the, re, in this section today. I mean, he's averaging. About 3.5, right? So he's averaging over three in his last five games. But this could be a game where he only gets about two. They're going up against the Suns. You know, they got, you know, Kevin Durant there. So look at, looking at the Suns roster, yes, the book is in, uh, is questionable. Bradley Beal is questionable. Well, they're, they are, they're day-to-day. But here, Grayson Allen, K, KD, and Nurkic are still all good to go. Um, especially KD, he's good guarding against uh, guarding in the perimeter. So you know, look for KD to potentially switch on over to Laurie during during the game, and you know, guard him with his length. So definitely going to take the under and three point uh, three pointers. Man, I'm not going to say he's going to make he's not going to make any, but he's probably going to get one or two today. Uh, so I'll definitely take that. This is going to be the three man there. I'm going to lock that in. Ten to win fifty. Boom. And then the next one that we have for y'all here is old man LeBron, right? So we're going to take LeBron James under points and assists. And no, I'm not following the LeBronder guy, right? What I'm doing is I'm following a pattern, right? So wait a minute, wait a minute. No way. Don't tell me they already took him out. They already took that out. Oh, I see what's going on. All right, <clears throat> here it is. So that I was about to get mad to be honest. All right, LeBron James. I'm just want to do this to take uh, James Harden out of it. Uh, so LeBron James under 30 and a half points and assists. The reason being is, as you can see here, he only hits this over 30 and a half points and assists when they're in a high competitive game, right? So look at look at this against Miami. Pretty competitive. Uh, you know, it's a good team. Obviously, he got 33 there. Houston. Not a good, strong, competitive team. Got 20, right? Very hit the under significantly there. And then against Phoenix, obviously a competitive team. Hit 38 there. Memphis, they blew them out the water. You know, what's new? Um, so 22 there. And then against uh, Sacramento, another competitive game. And he got 39 there. So you can see whenever it's a super competitive game, he hits that significantly when it's not a competitive game, they're going to rely on his support team to, you know, take the rest of the minutes, take minutes away from LeBron and let him rest. So I do see the Lakers winning significantly, um, you know, pretty comfortably against Portland. So that's why I'm taking the under and 30 and a half points and assists there. It, and I mean, if it was, and to be honest, if, it was, if the over was going to hit, they'd probably hit. They'd probably put this points and assist a little bit more than 30 just because, I mean, when he does hit it, he hits it significantly over. Look, 39, 38, and then 33, right? But then when he hits it under, hits it significantly under, 22 and 20. So that's why I'm taking LeBron James under points and assist there. And then DeAndre Ayton. So obviously this is a two-man here. Uh, the reason why I'm taking DeAndre Ayton under rebounds is because – I mean, I could see the Lakers getting on a hot one right now where, uh, during this game where they're going to find the basket. It's going to be going in. And if they're not missing a lot, 
there's not going to be a lot of rebounds for Aiden get Aiden Aiton to get right. And then of course, I mean Aiton has to go against you know Anthony Davis, who you know yes Anthony Davis is you know he gets a lot of he gets a lot of slack, but then Anthony Davis is Anthony Davis. And then look at looking at the Lakers, you know depth chart. So you can see obviously there are there's a lot of people that are injured, a lot of people that are day uh, day to day, but. I do believe LeBron James and Anthony Davis both will play today. Rui easily could just come switch on over. I actually like Rui a lot. Is so, you know, I'm not too worried about this at all. And then Anthony Davis, he is day to day with um uh with a hip injury, right? So he's probable. Whenever they say probable, they're gonna play. And especially with Anthony Davis and LeBron James, uh, you know, for the most part, if this doesn't say out by now. They're definitely going to play just because they use, they're, they like to be pretty conservative with them and pretty safe with them. Um, so definitely going to take the under there for LeBron, under there for DeAndre Ayton. And then, of course, oh, wow. So we're taking a whole under here. Tyus Jones under 12 and a half points and uh, rebounds here, right? So Tyus Jones, another hit or miss, right? So Tyus Jones, he either... So he's been going, averaging about 11.4, uh, 15 against Dallas, 13 against Toronto. It's going to be against the Knicks, uh, you know, pretty, some pretty tough, uh, it's a pretty tough team. So definitely ties Jones on their points, rebounds, you know, I'll definitely take that. Now, I wouldn't be mad at you if, because these are, th these two are my two favorite of that. So I wouldn't be mad at you if you, you know, essentially just took Tyus Jones out and only did LeBron James and DeAndre Ayton. All right, y'all, those are the plays. And to be honest, the more I, I think about it, the more I say it, because I do like Tyus Jones. I saw him at minus 115, maybe minus 125. Uh, but LeBron James and Ayton were the favorite of the two plays. Uh, so I wouldn't be mad at you if you took uh, Ayton uh, and LeBron James and left Tyus Jones out of it, right? So... Look at Aiton in here. He's getting that under 10 half rebounds pretty significantly. That he got, we only got 11 against Memphis, but you look against the Lakers last time, he got seven, right? Seven, seven, seven. Okay, so uh, I mean, I definitely like that there. Let's see. I'm gonna just check one more thing with LeBron. There you go. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, I honestly, now the more I think about it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do LeBron James, DeAndre Aiton. And uh, probably do probably drop a little bit more on that, honestly. Uh, but just just because I'm a maniac, I'm gonna I'll probably double down on this game. I'm gonna go ahead and do ten dollars on these three, ten to win fifty, and then I'm gonna go ahead and probably drop like you know maybe twenty, uh, you know twenty or thirty, you know to you know you know I just. I'm going to stop messing around. I'm going to do that right here. So I'm going to just take LeBron James and Aiton under in their uh, points. And we're going to go ahead and just lock in 20 there. 20 to win 60. Or you could definitely do uh, 40 to win 120. 30. Uh, uh, we'll get to 100. 35. 35 to win 105. You definitely do that right there. So, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. All right, everyone. You saw me. I locked it in already. Uh, make sure you... Like, subscribe, comment down below. You know, comment how you feel, how you feel about Thursday, Thursday's games. I'm really, I want to talk to y'all about that. I mean, I'm sure a lot of y'all were pissed. Don't be mad at me. You know, I can't predict injuries. I was just as mad as you. I can guarantee you that. Um, you know, so it, it was just a bummer. I mean, we're still, because Price Fix was nice enough, it refunded a lot of our my money. Uh, but so we're still, we're still in the green. Um, but it was just a bummer because it was going to be a huge day. And make sure you look in the comment down below. Follow my uh, winnable. I'm a, the link is there. So all you got to do is sign up in, with an account. It's absolutely free. Or you could do my $10 per month subscription. My $10 per month per subscription is going to give you a lot of my plays. My free one is probably going to have my YouTube plays with one or two uh, plays that you don't see on my YouTube versus my free one, or sorry, my $10 paid one, you're literally going to get every single one of my plays anywhere between 10 to 20 on NFL Sundays and anywhere between 
you know, two to four on a regular, you know, weekday. All right, everyone, those are the plays for y'all. Y'all have a good uh, Friday. I hope we win some money today. I feel good about it, and I'll see y'all when we're a little bit richer. All right, everyone, take care. Have a beautiful day.